Okay, so um, we're looking at how much a shop, a hospital shop, sells over two weeks. Let's start at the at the end, because if a company or a hospital shop or any shop for that matter sells something, then they have to buy it in order for it to get into shop. They have to buy it, and they buy at one price and they sell at another price. So, for example. If we take the wash kit here, um, it costs, it, they sell it to us for £12.45. Let's say it costs £10. So I'm going to write this down. So if we sell the wash kit for £12.45, that's the price, and the cost is ten pounds then we make a profit we just need to do a subtraction there we may we make a profit or the hospital makes a profit of two pounds forty five on each wash kit that it sells if you have a look here it's selling six of them in week one so we could work out a, a profit for week one um, now at the bottom here, it says that 20% of the total goes to the hospital as profit. So bear that in mind. We've got to find 20% of um, the, the final total, which we're going to calculate in a moment. So the main thing to say is that this is profit, and it's the difference between the amount, the cost of buying the product and the value of selling it. Okay. So the hospital will need to buy wash kits and it will probably buy them at £10 and it will sell them at £12.45 and it makes £2.45 profit on each one. Now what we're going to do is to work out so I've created two more columns here. One says value week one and value week two. So we're going to work out the amount that they sell, this, sorry, the value of what they sell in week one. Well, in week one, they sold six items, six wash kits for £12.45 each. Okay, and that works out as £74.70. All I've done is multiply 12.45 by 6. In week 2, they sold 5 of them, and that works out at 62.25. Let's move on to headphones. So in week 1, they sold 9 pairs of headphones. There we go. And they were £11.36 each. 9 times 11.36 is 102.24. Okay. Um, and finally, uh, they sold 8 pairs of headphones in week 2. 8 times 11.36 is 90.88. And we could carry on doing this, but I'm going to get the machine to do this for, for us, and it will show you how that works. Um, when it comes down to 20% of the total, right at the bottom there, it says 20% of the total is um, uh, is profit. So remember, profit is the difference between what you sell and what you what you sell at and what you buy at. So when we've we're going to calculate some totals here down here and when we've got the totals for each column which is what we're asked to do in the question at the top when we've got the totals we can work out 20 percent of each total remember we like to find 10 percent so we'll find 10 percent of each total and then multiply by two so let's give us 20 percent and then we can answer this question which week was most profitable and by how much. Okay, so watch the spreadsheet develop now, please. So, what we're doing here, 
Okay, so we've got a little formula that multiplies 12.45, that's in cell C8, times 6, which is in D8. We're going to do the same for the value in week 2. The value is the price, 12.45, times the number sold, 5. That's the total. We're going to extend these totals down, so the same formula is multiplying each price by the sales in week one and now the sales in week two. Just make those bold. Then we're going to uh, look at the total sales value, which is the sum of all the, with the value of all the sales in week one, £632.70. Then we're going to look at the value of the sales, all of the sales of all products in week two. So it's each product's price times the quantity sold and then all added together. And now we can compare the two. Um, we're going to work out 20%. So 20% is the same as zero point multiplying by 0 0.2 or multiplying by 20 over 100. So 20% of these sales value can be done by just multiplying 632.7 by 0.2, or by 20%. It's going to be a number in the hundreds because it's one fifth, 20%. Okay, 126 in week one, and 20% of 645.37 in week two is £129.7 and then we're asked to, we've calculated how much that is each week and then we're simply asked to say which week was more profitable. Well, you can see that week two is slightly higher amount than week one and we just do week two minus week one and we find that the week two, they made £2.53 more profit 